guys help us understand? You know, the, obviously there's been the trouble scoring the last game, then 14 points the first half, and then you got it going in the second half. What's, what's the difference between the two? Um, I just feel like the last game it took us a minute to like get in the groove and um, kind of got down on ourselves. And I mean, it's basketball. You really can't go out there and play like that. I feel like today we came out with a lot of confidence. Um, we started off pretty sluggish in the first half, but the second half we came out pretty aggressive and got some momentum going on. What kinds of things did the coaches talk about at halftime? Because, like she said, you look like two totally different teams before and after. Um, they just expounded on confidence, is going out there and playing loose, and not worry about making mistakes for the most part. But clearly, you guys started to change something defensively. I mean, you went you know, into full court press, I think, with eight or nine minutes to go in the game, uh, a lot of man pressure. That's different from the philosophy that's been all season. Is it not? Or... Yeah, it's, it's different. Um, when you get down 20 points or whatever, we were down, you know, it, it, you have to do something to speed the game up to try to come back. And uh, coach just told us to go diamond or we went man to man and we tried to trap and force turnovers and just pick up the tempo a little bit. But that's something coach talked about all year is you guys, you know, again, with your size disadvantage, playing deliberately. Is it time to speed it up a little bit, you know, with the last few games going here and going to the conference tournament? Um, I don't know. It depends the f the flow of the game. I mean, some teams we play against, it might fit better against. But then other teams, you know, we might want to slow them down. Like with Memphis, they like to run already. And we, we might want to slow them down. So it depends the teams we play. You know, what's what's their weakness and what's their strength and how does it match up against us? Jeremiah, was it getting into your all's heads when you're going to have 14 points? Like, what what is going on with us? Why can we not score? Uh, no, I wasn't getting in our heads. We, we're confident shooters. Just the ball got to go in the basket. It's individually inside, each player just has to knock down a shot. You feel like you got open looks both that half and then the last game? Yeah, I think everybody had open looks that just didn't go in. Why did you miss the last game? How did you, uh, how did you get your concussion and how are you doing now? Um, I'm doing well. I got my concussion doing a charge drill in practice, but uh, I feel great. So were you, were you taking the charge? I was taking the charge. So you fell backward into your head? Part of the game, I'm good. You talk about the confidence, and when you were down 16 or 20 or whatever it was, did you ever start to waver in your confidence that you could make that comeback? Uh, I never doubt it. I never doubt any game, uh, me personally. And uh, this game, I just tried to be a leader more and keep, you know, encouraging the guys that hey, there's a lot of basketball left. The way the refs were calling the game, you know, they was calling a lot of fouls, so the game was slowing down, and there was a lot of time. And, they were missing free throws. We missed a couple, but there was there was so much time left in the game that it was a chance we could come back, and we did. We just they had a little bit more breaks than we did, I guess you could say. With Rob not hitting his shot as well as he sometimes does, were you intentionally looking for London and, and Jalen Moore, or is that just the way this the offense ran and ended up in their hands? Uh, that's when we went we went 44 game where it's just ball screen roll, and it's it's more guard oriented and more like perimeter. Uh, involved, so Cotton just happened to end up with the ball going off the ball screen, and he's aggressive. And Jalen the same way. If they get to the cup, they're going to finish. So it was it was nothing different with Robert. It was just more of the guards having the ball more. Even though you lost, obviously nobody likes to lose. But even though you lost, what can a 54 point second half like this that pulled it back to that close do for the confidence of the team? Um, well, considering the fact considering the fact that we only scored 20 at the last game. Um, it gives a great amount of confidence to score, come out scoring 54 points. I mean, just let us know how good we can be. And um, we're still getting better every day. It is your eighth straight conference loss, though. I mean, how do you guys keep trudging forward without it starting to unravel? I think it's a mindset. Um, one thing you, you can't do is get down on yourself. And the great thing about our locker room is we have a lot of confident guys, um, guys with great attitudes, and we motivate each other. So if somebody comes to practice, we might be down. We count on four or five guys to pick that person up, and that's how we get rolling. How bad was it between Wednesday and today for just you guys and the feeling of um, – I mean, it got a lot of national attention, 28 points. Yeah, I it's mean – It's not fun to have. It was embarrassing, and, you know, after 12 o'clock, coach says to forget about it and think to the next game. But during the day and after the game, uh, it, was, it was tough because nobody ever experienced anything like that before. But we knew we were getting great shots. That's, the ball just didn't go in the hole. It just kind of spread once one guy missed, another guy missed. And it just kind of got contagious.
practice any different? Uh, practice wasn't any different. Uh, Cotton didn't practice much because he had a concussion. He came back, so just having Cotton, I got more because I was hurt with my ankle. I got to actually practice because I was sitting out, so that was no different. So then, did you practice at all, or did you? Um, no, I really haven't practiced all week. Besides the past two days, I did just some shooting um, here and there. And you got the concussion on Monday? Um, yes, Monday. Okay. See, it's a good sign you can remember. <laughs> Is that why you didn't start today? Uh, correct. It seemed like you guys got out of the locker room pretty quick after the game. What was Coach's message after the game today? Uh, he was just telling us that he's proud of us because um, we, we came out fighting, uh, especially within the last 10 minutes. Um, we had a chance to be down one um, with Rob's three-pointer. Um, he explained that to us and just told us to keep our heads up and that we, we're still alive. And Coach Lewis also you know, preached to us that there's a lot of basketball left. Uh, we got four more regular season games and in the conference tournament. Uh, we can't win the regular season conference championship, but you know, with the tournament coming up, you know, it's March Madness. Anything can happen, and uh, we're a confident bunch. So if we get one game going into the tournament, we can get another game going, another game going, and all of a sudden we're dancing. So.